Beauty Babes. I'm so excited today because today I am trying out the tasting room. Um, I'm not a really big wine person. I literally know nothing about wine, even though I grew up in the hill country. I know there's red and I know there's white and that's about it. When I go out, I order a margarita or a pina colada and everyone's like, I want to shh, 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 and I'm like, I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. So I'm going to try to figure out this whole wine thing. So I thought it would be a good idea to get the starter kit and maybe do a monthly subscription to the tasting room because I want to see what's up about wine. I want to act smart and know what the fuck is going on. So I'm super excited. I did think it was going to be a little bigger. This is what it comes in, this little brown box. Um, I really thought it was going to be bigger wines, but can't complain. It was free first. So I'm really excited to learn about wine and see what the hell is even going on. So this is what it looks like when I get it. It has a little card that says, Welcome to the Tasting Room. It shows how it works. It says you rate your kit, get your wine profile, receive personalized shipments, and rate as you go. So what I really do like about this is, as we go through and taste all the wines, I get to go on the computer and I get to say whether I like it, whether I don't, and I get to do it. Because if I was just to go up to someone and tell them, oh, I like that one red wine, they would not know what the hell I'm talking about. So what I like is it keeps track and it kind of um, makes it easier for me as I go. So when we open the uh, first month box tester, this is what it looks like. It's got one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six <laughs> bottles of wine, and then it has this. So <clears throat> it says red wine tasting mat and white wine tasting mat. So on the red wine, it says again, be sure that the numbers on your bottles match what you see on the screen. Take small sips. You may be asked to taste and compare the wines more than once. Okay, so I can't get drunk while doing this. <laughs> I can't drink the whole thing. And then it says, oh, oh, it says the same thing. So I guess that's what we put our little wines on. Let's see. You log in and then you rate now. So let's see. Let me push it to rate now. I'll show you all the screen once I actually start doing stuff. Let's start tasting. Okay, so it says before you start sipping, you'll taste wines in pairs. Just click on the one you prefer. Undecided, if you like or dislike both wines, just click the no preference button. Take small sips, you may taste and compare each wine two to three times. It's okay to hate on a wine. The goal is to find the wine you love and love. So let's get some wine glasses. Let's come over here real quick. I'll probably get, should I get two or three? I'll probably get two glasses and we'll see um, what happens. All right, so let's continue. Start with the white wine. Chill your white wines for at least 20 minutes and then take them out five minutes before starting. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll meet you right back here. All right, Beauty Babe, so I went ahead and chilled these. So let's see what we need to do next. All right, so we put, that's super cute though that they have the little placeholders with the numbers so that you don't forget because after tasting all these, my ass, <laughs> my ass might. All right, so place them on the circles, pour a little bit. Oops, if I can do it. All right, and this is called Chauvet Blanc, or something like that. And this is Morning Side. Okay. All right. Here we go. So I'm gonna pretend I know what the fuck I'm talking about. So when I'm looking at this, this one looks more white, and this one looks more yellow, more gravy. So. That must mean something. All right, click on the wine you prefer. You prefer, Brr, prefer. Let's see. It smells awful. <laughs> okay, so I really don't prefer that. Or this one. Fuck, <laughs> they both taste awful. I don't know which one I like more. This one's more tolerable. Um, 
How much more did you like wine one more than wine two? Mm, not that much more. Great, so we're done with the white wines. Now we're on to the reds. It says, remember you can taste the white wines again if you want to. Use the previous link um, below before you complete the tasting to go back and change your selection. Um, I honestly probably won't. This is probably my last sip. And now I'm done with them. So now I know I'm not a white wine fan. So, let's get some more glasses. Let's continue. Make sure all four glasses are clean and then place them on the red wine section. Okay. Perfect. Pour each bottle of red wine into its corresponding glass. Again, it's okay to hate the wine. Okay. So these, um, it did not want me to chill, so I didn't. Let's see. So this is number three. This is Trillis Handcrafted Panay Nowhere. Fancy. All right. I do like, you know, the little wine that they have at church that you dip the bread in. I do like that, so maybe I'll like this shit too. This stuff's not too bad. Four. Okay, this is Sariette. It's a Cabernet from France. See, I knew my shabra was on the line. <laughs> it sounds French. All right. Pour a little bit in there. I try to say shabra because I feel like it sounds fancy. And every time I hear people talking about wine, it sounds something like that. So that's my own beauty babe take on it. So this is Upper Q, some Merlot. Pour some in there. Alright. And then this is Bull's Bourbon. Oh, Bull's Head Bourbon Barrel. So. Alright, now let's put that baby in there. Okay. I really am glad we have this placemat because Lord knows I would not know what the fuck I'm doing. Alright, so it says taste wine three and number four, and let's see which one we like. So here I go, pretending I know what the fuck I'm doing. They smell exactly the same. They look exactly the same. Let me make sure I put them where they're supposed to go. Alright, so I'm going to try number three, which was the Trillis Handcrafted Pinay Nowhere, California, 2016. It's a little bitter. But it's not bad, it's a lot more tolerable than the white wine, so at least I know what color I like. And this four that I just tried is the Sariette Cabernet from France. This one was a little sweeter and then it got real bitter, so I'm not sure. I think I like number three better. Okay. So, now I taste three and five. Okay, so I need to put some more three in here because I'm already fucking up. Ding. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. And then five. And so I'm retrying that Trulis one. And now, oh, almost dropped that shit. Now I'm trying that Aperku. Now there is one wine I really liked, and it was from Olive Garden, and it had no bitterness, and it was super sweet. So I'm hoping one of these tastes like that, so that my stomach doesn't get all fucking. But we'll see. So here is five. So we'll see. Nope. There goes all my food. Um, that was god awful. Man, that was horrible. Okay, so not trying that shit again. Now we're on to three and six. Now I'm fucking scared. Because <laughs> I do not want to try this. Okay. Ugh, I need some water before, before I go on to this. So give me a quick second. 
All right, so I got some water because this one, I'm just taking number five off. What was number five? Some a perku. Oh, but no. This is a no. So we're just taking this baby out. I am not fucking on my stomach because of that. All right, so now we're trying six. Help me, Jesus. Let's hope this one is not, this is not bad. Oh, God. Okay, so five and six, they gotta go. The Bulls, uh, Bulls Head Bourbon Barrel is a no-go. We're putting these off to the side. So, I just finished up. It asked me if I like red or white more. We figured out I'm a redhead, not um, a whitehead. So, we got that in there, and then they're supposed to be shipping me red ones whenever I decide to actually do the subscription. So, again, this was just a taster. This was free, completely free box. I didn't even have to pay for shipping. It was really nice. I got all of this for free. And it kind of gives you an idea on what the hell you like, especially if you don't know what you're doing like me. So I'm really glad that I did try this, and maybe I can find more sweet, uh, sweet and less bitter ones whenever I try this club again. But who knows? We'll see. But until then, cheers. Showing in the website. You only do that whenever I go on there. <laughs> when is I don't remember what I was saying now. Pause it.